Okay, so here is a quick follow-up to our uh, saving a project as a central model. Uh, so we've done that part, that was a previous video, and now I want to open a local copy because I never ever want to work in the central file. It's a repository of all the important information, and so I don't want anyone in there uh, messing things up. If I do, then I lose the ability to synchronize and things like that, and that's uh, an evil, awful thing, so let's not do that. So the way that I'm going to do this is to hit the purple R, the program button, drop down and I'm going to hit the open selection there. Uh, don't click on it yet. Slide over to project. So I want to open a project. Then I'm going to navigate my way to where I left that central file. So this is going to create the link between my project and the central project. So I'm going to click on my computer, go to the share drive that I know it's in, uh, open the file, and there it is, Project 1 Central. And notice at the bottom of this um, window, uh, the open window, I've got uh, work sharing options there. There's two of them. Uh, the one that's checked by default is the one on the right, which says Create New Local, uh, which is what I want to do. And then the one on the left is Detach from Central. I would only use that if I really want to work in my own model and never ever use it as something to synchronize with the Central. So this is something that you probably n hardly ever want to do. Uh, so I'm going to leave it as the Create New Local and click on Open. And it's going to chug along for a minute and then it's going to open a version of that project uh, for me. And at the top of my screen, I'm going to know that it's mine because it's going to stick my Windows username or my Revit username, depending on which version of Revit you're in, uh, stick my username into um, the name of the project. I probably should have taken the word central out, but that's okay for right now. We can clean that up later. Okay, so see there at the top of the screen, um, it says Project One Central Administrator, and right now my Revit username is Administrator, so uh, that's why it stuck that one in there. And so now I've got an option here up in my shortcuts menu in the upper left hand corner next to the save button is a synchronize button. So I can synchronize with central there. Uh, I can also do that in the uh, collaborate tab. Uh, synchronize with central or reload latest. Reload latest is important because once I have this file, let me show you where it ends up. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, So I've closed my file. It's going to show up on my splash screen here as Project One Central Administrator, and that's my local copy. So um, once I've I've been in the file, it's going to leave it there on that gray screen. If I um, open it from here, uh, I don't have to recreate that that uh, local copy. This is my local copy. I can just open it directly from the splash screen. But if I do that, I want to go to the um, Collaborate tab and click on Reload Latest so that I know that I've got the latest and greatest information from the central model. It doesn't automatically synchronize when I open uh, my local copy. Um, so just keep that in mind.